All right, today I'm looking at different BVAC options. And um, what I noticed is there are a variety of sizes and uh, a level of complexity you can uh, build to make something that would basically suck the bees um, out of a crevice or some hard to get spot. But uh, in my mind, they kind of fall into two, kind of two or three categories. One is the um, using wooden frames, or not frames, but the wooden box from your beehives and uh, kind of retrofitting that with hoses and, and then a separate vacuum off to the side. So you've got boxes on top of boxes and you've got also um, a, a, an exterior vac vacuum as well. And then you've got the ones that you use a bucket. Um, there's a, ver a variety of those. The, several have two, two or three buckets that are either combined or used as two chambers, uh, one for the vacuum uh, and one for um, the collection which uh, has some advantages. And then there's the, the most simple one, um, which is what I chose, which is actually a single bucket. You can't get as many bees, but boy, it's simple and light. And um, I think you just have to, you know, uh, basically pour the bees out occasionally as they get filled up inside your bucket if you have something, a very big swarm. All right, let's take a look which is basically a piece of two by four that I cut to be the radius of the bucket. And then to regulate the uh, airflow, as you open it or close it, um, you'll notice here some uh, uh, hardware cloth. The screen will um, keep the bees out or keep the bees in as the case may be. And then as you adjust this here, it'll actually regulate the airflow and make it very, very low. You can go all the way from no suction to maximum suction, so you can um, you can regulate this, and, and apparently, it uh, keeps the bees from getting killed as they get uh, put into the bucket. On the top of the bucket, you have the the bucket head vacuum for twenty six dollars at Home Depot. So basically, these two things together allow that. If you look up here, where the input uh, where the the bees come in or where the vacuum comes in. So it comes in here, it comes in here, and then it goes up, up through this hole. So when you have it actually installed, let's see if I can get it up here. When you actually have it installed, you'll notice, there you go, there's the hole. It'll actually push the bees down into the bucket. And inside the bucket, there really are no uh, sharp edges. There is no, um, there's no easy way out for the bees. <laughs> so anyway, so it'll basically send the bees in kind of at an angle. It's not quite a, a 90 degree, almost 90 degrees. It looks like there's a little bit of a, a twist in there. But uh, basically, we'll bring them in and uh, drop them into the bottom. And some people I know have put uh, all sorts of uh, plastic and uh, different things on the bottom. I think that's optional, actually. And I've read a number of different uh, reviews on how to best do this. But this is lightweight, and you have a carrying spot for it. You have a way to uh, carry it up a ladder and take it up to an eave or someplace to um, actually get the bees out. Okay.